Welcome to our build tutorial for the Polar Pico, the smallest and easiest device to get started controlling your Tonex One with MIDI. I'm going to walk you through all the steps if you need to build your own or you'd like to repair or modify your existing device. So let's get started. Now the Pico is the easiest Polar device to assemble. What you will need is the enclosure. This is a two-part enclosure with a top and a bottom. You will also need some 3D printed insert nuts for M3 threaded screws. I won't be inserting those into the enclosure. If you're interested in building your own, we've got the exact specs and dimensions that you will need if you want to order your own uh, on the GitHub build repo. Otherwise, I've got those pre-inserted into the enclosure here. You will need three M3 screws. Uh, we use seven millimeter screws, which is the recommended length. However, if you have a five or a six millimeter screw length, that should work fine as well. And then we've also got the Pico carrier board, which contains the WaveShare Zero, an ESP32 microcontroller board, the power input and step down regulator, as well as the MIDI input handling circuitry. So all you need to do, start by inserting your board into the enclosure. You can see it slides in on a slight angle and then there's a little locking tab here behind to make sure it can't get pushed out too much. Then take the top part of the enclosure and slide it into place. This is designed to be fairly snug, so it should fit in almost exactly as required. Take your M3 screws and insert them into the top holes and fasten them until they're nice and finger tight, but don't over torque them. And there we go, you have your Polar Pico assembled, ready to use with your Tonex One for full MIDI control. Nice, easy build and perfect if you're just getting started. If you're interested in the rest of our Polar lineup, check out the build videos linked below. Cheers.